I'm back. Um, I closed the slider door. And of course, then he's just quiet because now he knows it's not going to bother me. So he's not going to do it again. Uh Hello, it's me, Cheryl Hunter, and welcome to my, or welcome back, if you've been here before, to my art vlog. Um, this is all about updating you on my adventures with the um, Milan Art Institute Art Mastery Program. And I just completed week 14, and that was the completion of part, part one, which was all all about oil painting and charcoal and drawing, sketching. My son is in the background and I apologize for the, the noises. As some of you know, he is a 29 year old with severe autism and he's very jealous right now that I'm in here recording this instead of sitting with him. But we're learning about sharing time and allowing mom to do what she wants to do. So yeah. oh, he was happy for a moment. Well, he's happy, actually. Those are sounds of joy, believe it or not. They're also sounds of, I want your attention. So I may have to uh, stop and find something for him to do real quick. I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, I closed the slider door and of course then he's just quiet because now he knows it's not going to bother me. So he's not going to do it again. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a vlog on, um, how we artists, especially women, um, with children and family duties, how we juggle and balance our time. So we'll do that in the future. Anyway, week 14. Um, week 14 was about expressive drawing, so we did some more abstract drawings um, and creative right brain drawings. And then we were to do um, a final painting combining everything we learned about oil painting using whatever technique we preferred. Um, and I was so excited about this, and it was suggested that we do this painting on a large canvas that is, um, you know, uh, something that would be considered gallery quality canvas. So I chose a 20 by 20 um, gallery wrapped canvas. And I don't know, you know, if it's something somebody's going to want. We'll see. I am going to try and take some decent photographs of it that I can hopefully extract some some good quality prints from. And I'm going to share that with you in just a second. But let me talk about the um, let me talk about the drawings first. Okay, so to make this easy for myself and, and for you, um, I just went ahead and grabbed them down off my easel. So the first one was all about um, just abstract sketching, and I, I chose charcoal. I think I did throw in, yeah, I did throw in some water-soluble graphite as well. But it's about mark making and expressive drawing, just just drawing and then um, seeing if you can formulate any kind of a, a, a landscape out of it. So that was this one, and... I really, I enjoy doing this. Um, I'm not saying I'm any real good at it, but I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, it looks like there's a little pond here. Um, of course, tree bushes is just real doodly <laughs> abstract stuff. Um, nothing I'd probably frame <laughs> if I won't even keep it, but it, it was it was a good exercise. The so, water soluble graphite, um, I don't know, maybe I don't have a good quality one or I don't know how to use it properly, but 
I don't feel like it's doing the same thing that I've seen other pencils that John or um, Dimitri used in the past. So I don't know. I'll have to look into that because I do enjoy this uh, and I'd like to, you know, work on making more interesting um, water, like with, with ink and water and charcoal and whatever, um, just because I, I really enjoy how that looks. So that was that one. The next one, we were supposed to just kind of start doodling and then see if we noticed anything in it that looked like an actual real subject or object. And so I started doodling and I started with like this little stuff up here and I just kind of scrubbed. And then I made these squiggly lines and this loop and a couple of the lines at first, it just looked right away like an octopus to me. So I went ahead and put in a few other marks and some eyes to draw out an octopus. Um, anyway, so that's that one. And that was, that was fun. Um, again, these are things that uh, are really good exercises. I wasn't trying to really, you know, make something that I would necessarily keep. It was more about just letting my brain free flow. And, and because I tend to be so uh, left-brained and meticulous about things, it's new. I don't want to say it's new to me. But there's always something in the back of my head when I'm when I'm just doodling, telling me, um, you know, wow, that line's not straight, or you need to make that circle better. And so I actually end up going and erasing things when they're just doodles to make them perfect. So I have to overcome that if I'm going to be truly expressive um, and allow my left brain to take over. I have to pull back on that part of my perfectionism that can't stand. It's like when I text. When I text, my kids laugh at me all the time. I have to spell the full word out and it has to be spelled correct. I even have to have correct grammar or I won't send the text. So these are things about me that I'm discovering are in many places in my life. Uh, so yeah, that. Okay. And then the final one was John's creative tree. And I, I think I got what he was suggesting. Um, so it was kind of doing a landscape, a um, sort of abstract landscape, but then uh, putting in some doodling on the tree. So this was mine. And I enjoyed that. I I really, I like spirals. I like loopy things and stars and uh, like the uh, double helix looking spirals. I, I just, I'm really into those. So we'll see how that comes out in my um, future classes, my future projects, because when we do mark making and expressive drawings, I'm sure this will end up in there. These types of markings anyway. All right, so then the final project was the painting. And um, I've been dying to do this because, let me start with, uh, I have three daughters. And my youngest daughter, Miranda, she is a, uh, a musician. She, she's a songwriter, a singer-songwriter. And um, she records and produces her own music. She also records for others, for companies. She has um, songs that are on commercials, TV shows, all kinds of things. And that's how she makes her living. So she's had in the past uh, photo shoots done for her album co covers for her originals and so on. And so some of those photos she doesn't really use anymore. And she's given me permission to use them. So I, I use them as sources. So they're not... They don't look exactly like her. They're not going to look exactly like her. But this first one, I liked the position she was in and what she was doing because I had in mind with so much violence and war going on in the world, I wanted to do a painting that was just very simple message of peace. Um, so this is what I did. Here it is. So this is 
called Peace. Well, no, it's called Message Sent. It's about peace. So it's basically, obviously, a prayers being sent up um, with the dove of peace and the olives and the olive branches. So that was um, my final project for this section. Sorry, my chair is squeaking like crazy. Anyway, I don't know if you can see close up there. I also have a video of my creating this. So if you're interested in seeing that, um, check out, uh, check it out. I'll, I'll try to remember when I'm editing this to put um, a link or a card up for you to click on. So Miranda is, I'll also in the description, I'll put a link to her, her page because her music, um, it's, it's hip hop, R and B, um, some pop. And like I said, she, she does a lot of her original work, but she also, um, works for different music producers, libraries, whatever. Uh, so her music, she actually, one of her songs was used, a, a short clip was used in a documentary about German soccer players in Germany. So it's worldwide and it's how she makes her living and I'm just so proud of what she's done and in the future I'm going to use my other daughters some photographs from them to do paintings and then I will talk all about them um which reminds me uh I think I did talk about this I entered the contest this recent contest was about was called um new growth that was the contest in the art club this for this month so this is what I entered, and this was fun to paint. The minute I saw that, and these are photographs uh, that my brother-in-law, Jesse, Jesse Dinkle does. He's, he's a great photographer, and I got permission to use his photography in my paintings. So that is my niece, Amelia. So Amelia is his granddaughter, so that's my, my niece, Amelia. And he took a picture of her in this beautiful green little fairy dress with the wings and the whole bit. And then he had another photograph of the little squirrel in a field of flowers. And in the photograph, I should show you that too, but in the photograph, the, the squirrel is actually holding on to a flower stalk. It, it's just, it was amazing and enchanting to me. So I wanted to combine the two. So that's what I did for the contest. Anyway, so it's been a really, really cool month just being able to um, start exploring my my style a little bit, my voice. I think I'm kind of getting a feel for it. And there's also a video that I made about some of my favorite artists, and it's not necessarily their technique. It's the, the subject matter. Um, I tend to really enjoy either symbolism, uh, symbolism, uh, um, gosh, what is it called? Uh, magical realism or uh, surrealism. I, I tend to gravitate toward those three different kinds of uh, uh, themes or subjects. So we'll see where that takes me because um, combining the realism and impressionist styles and expressive styles. I don't know where that's going to lead me, but I, I have the feeling that that's kind of what my, my little corner is. So thank you for watching and week 14, um, the end of part one, very, very cool experience. And I'm going to do a full review on part one, um, in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.